everybody, thanks for watching. We're in Traverse City over on East 16th Street at Right Brain Brewery where, well, they're getting ready to do a lot of things, one of which is to mark their 10 year in business. With us is Russell Springsteen, the man behind uh, Right Brain Brewery. And 10 years ago, did you think we'd be standing here talking no. about it? No, not here or no. This wasn't, <laughs> I didn't plan for this. For those of you who may not know, uh, Right Brain started in the warehouse district in a much smaller facility. And so standing here is something crazy, isn't it? Yeah, it's been pretty amazing. Just our growth has been very steady and, you know, upward. So it's been pretty amazing. You know, you, you fight so hard to get through that third year to be a legitimate business, and then 10 years sneaks right up on you. So this has been good. We've talked with staff, my wife, a lot, obviously, about 2017, and our ninth year was going to be a t turning point for us where we actually became profitable, which is pretty cool when you <laughs> own a business. And then 2018 is, is going to be huge. It will be a full 10 years. We're hiring several new people out in the market. We're promoting people up into new positions. We're right now, we're in the process of rebuilding our brewery at this very moment, adding new equipment, um, upgrading everything, being able to produce more, more better beer. What has surprised you in the 10 years you've been in business the most? because there are a lot of different things that have happened, but what has surprised you the most? Just how quickly the industry keeps changing and new people coming into the industry, the explosive growth of the industry. 10 years ago, I was license number 67. I think there's 300, wow. 350 now in Michigan, breweries, microbreweries. So um, I kind of expected that, but I didn't think that it would be that big, so. Right. Right. So that's been interesting, trying to figure out how to work through that. And where you, guys are, you guys are just coming off a trip to Denver for the Great American Beer Festival where you poured beer. We did pour beer. Yeah, yeah we definitely poured beer. We didn't win any medals, so, but it makes us come back a little bit disappointed, but it makes us go back to the grindstone and work harder, get better. Well, when you, improving. But when you talk about winning a medal at the Great American Beer Festival, you're going up against several breweries from across the country. Yeah, there were probably 4,000 different yeah. beers, I think, so that's good. Yeah. Competition on all sides, all levels, it's good. But it was good uh, bonding, camaraderie with my crew, sales crew and brewery, uh, brewers win as well, so it was good. I was just talking to in an interview with the author of the book Brewed in Michigan, which is a book about the brewery industry in Michigan that just came out and talking about the different things that get put in beers and I brought, brought up the Mangalitsa pig porter where you take the parts of at least three or four pigs and you actually put it into your beer. How yeah. did all, how do did, how did things like that happen? Uh, through interesting conversations with other people. We were actually, uh, Cherry Capital Foods is one of our purveyors, it's our main purveyor of all of our ingredients that we use that are odd. Yeah. asparagus right. pig heads and they had invited me to a dinner after they had slaughtered a pig and just sitting at dinner with uh, with their buyer kind of came up plus it was all paired with wine and I was kind of pushing that maybe we could next year do a beer pairing so right. that's kind of how that came about just an odd conversation all right now the 10-year anniversary you're going to celebrate in 2018 can you give us just a, a teensy weensy uh, glimpse into what you may be doing what for the anniversary party uh, the anniversary party it'll be a two-day party at the end of January the 26th and 27th on the 26th and during the week leading up to that we're gonna be releasing barrel aged beers um, we're not really well known for our barrel aged beers because it's not something that we really put a lot of focus on but I have beers that have been laying down in barrels for about three years wow. so kind of just putting them out there so we'll have several new barrel aged beers um, all the employees have an opportunity to sit down with me and write a recipe and we'll brew their beer so I'm kind of interested because we'll talk about weird ingredients that's when <laughs> the, the employees really yeah so we got to start talking about it now to be able to source these materials and be able to figure out how to brew with what they are going to do 10 years in business, celebration coming up in January 2018. Russell, thank you. Yeah, thank you for your time. I appreciate it. In Traverse City, talking beer, I'm Vic McCarty, My News 26.